Okay, so my keyboard just came here for my uh, Dell Inspiron Junkyard laptop. It was fast. Ordered it off eBay. Jeez, I think I ordered it uh, Thursday. And it's Monday. Oh, the tape's already been opened here. Hmm. So we'll get her open and then uh, we'll do a replacing the keyboard in that in that uh, in that laptop. Also, my uh, hard drive enclosure came in from Newegg today. They had a pretty good deal, nine ninety nine. So check that out too. All right, see ya. Okay, we're gonna change out the, the uh, keyboard in this uh, junkyard Dell Inspiron. By now, most people that watch my videos should uh, I mean you shouldn't even watch this. So we're gonna take the battery out first. Of course, make sure it's powered off. Take the battery out. Open the hood. Bam! <coughs> now, we gotta get this uh, strip out here. So, pop your hood open all the way. Get out a little screwdriver here. Just a second. My handy dandy cobalt micro drivers. I love them, love them. Okay, so once again, you just wanna get a screwdriver down in this little in this seam here. Pop it up. And then, you can just. Pop it up all the way off. That's it. Bam. Done. All right. Now, the keyboard, it's only these two screws. One, two Phillips head screws. So, I'll get out my little Phillips head. Get in there. Get that screw out. Set it aside. The next screw. I can't believe these freaking new keyboard. $15. Free shipping. You know, that's, that's a heck of a deal, man. All right. So now, it's on the sides here. It's got little little legs that stick out. Um, so you want to get your screwdriver. Get it up here. Work that son of a bitch out. There we go. Came out. Came out from that side. And now, the ribbon, where the ribbon goes in, this is very simple. You just lift the ribbon forward. Opens up that little tray there. So here's our old keyboard. And presto, freaking amazo. Here's a new one. What a difference. I actually can see letters on there and little pictures. I never knew I had them on the keyboard. All right, so we'll stick it in. Very simple, just reverse process. Get your cable set in there. Okay, I'm going to move the camera for a second so I can snap this down. Let's close the lid. Good. Now we just slide this back in, get all the little things that belong places into places. Set it down. Make sure it gets seated on both sides. It's in there. Stick the screws back in. They're freaking, of course, little bitty screws, so you want to be careful with them. You don't want to drop one down into the guts of the thing. Then you got to be pulling everything apart. Watch me do that. Ooh, look at that shit. I, whoops, stuff. I did it. All right, oh, wrong screw there, wrong tip. Phillips head. Come on, you prick. Tighten it up. Get this one. Bam, done. Put this uh, plastic thing back on. Get it in the passenger side first, or driver side, excuse me. That snap down. Just snap it down as you go. Snap, snap, snap. Make sure you're all seated in there. Beautiful. Close the hood. Pop that tree back in. Oops, wrong way. All right, what in the flipping fruitcake am I doing wrong here? Nothing. I do nothing wrong ever. Okay. Just got done doing a little bumper cam footage. Took a trip to Walmart. Do a little bumper camming. Fire up. Make sure there's no Chinese things that are going to hop into your computer, you know, from all this China crap. I say we're going to be, we're going to be good here. Hopefully we won't get a keyboard error. We'll see here if this freaking thing ever decides to boot up. Come on, you prick. Do-do-do-do. Ooh, look at that. All right, bam, done. Good. All right, see ya.